So um, where did we start off? In Revelation 17, right? We started off in Revelation 17, Revelation 17, and listen to what, again, this is, this is just, wow. Um, so... <clears throat> Uh, this, or where he says, this title was written on her forehead, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. Because at this time, during the tribulation period, it's going to be a time of selfishness, of greed, of you name it. Things that are just of hate, of hurt and pain, people going against each other and trying to win false gains. Things that will, as we know of in the next chapter, destroyed. In an hour, it says an hour, that's quick. And when we're talking about an hour, it's not an hour what we think. It's super fast. It's boom, it's done. Thank the Lord God that we have a Savior and that we don't have to even deal with any of this. And you know what? Pray for those that haven't decided that Jesus is their Lord and Savior because they don't have anybody to fall back onto. They don't have a safety net. They don't have anything. So understand that they too have a lo loving God who loves them too. And so we can pray. We can pray that the Lord works through them, whether it's us being reflections of Christ, right? Living in the spirit or someone else. Or something to happen. And that they acknowledge God and who his goodness is. The goodness of God. On to uh, Revelation 18 where it talks about, again, right here. Uh, the merchants who sold these things and gained their wealth from her will stand far off terrified at her torment. They will weep and mourn and cry out, Whoa, whoa, a great city dressed in fine linen, purple and scarlet and glittering with gold, precious stones and pearls. In one hour, such great wealth has been brought to ruin. Exactly. So it's a warning for us to bring in past to present, to not store up wealth, to, to not think of things over what the Lord has for us. Yes, yes, absolutely. The Lord can provide. The Lord can provide us things um, that we may believe are wonderful and things to live with. But there's a difference between thinking about those first, right? I need a jet. I need a new car. I need a, 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 a McMansion, you know, a mega mansion. I need... A, a really good a really good doctors and this and that I need good clothes I need good I need good appearance all of that's real earthly where when we look at the goodness of God and we live in the spirit the Lord fulfills our needs for us and he fulfills them perfectly so he provides the perfect home for you he provides the perfect relationship for you he provides the perfect sustenance for you he provides the perfect everything when it comes from the lord it's perfect but when it comes from man destroyed in an hour <laughs> before we go on with this review or what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this how does it make you feel what does it make you think